Hello students, welcome to the maths class. Today we are going to learn tens and hundreds, converting fractions to decimals. 6 upon 100 in its decimal form is 0 0.06. 26 upon 100 in its decimal form is 0 0.26. 432 upon 100 in its decimal form is 4.32. We also studied the relationship between millimeters and centimeters. We saw that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters and 1 millimeter is equal to 1 tenth of a centimeter which is also equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. Today we are going to study the relationship between a meter and centimeter. In one meter there are 100 centimeters. This means that one meter is divided into 100 equal parts of one centimeter each. Practice time. Let's convert the following from meters to centimeters. The first one, 2 meters. Students, you know that 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So in order to convert to centimeters, we need to multiply by 100. Therefore, we have 2 meters multiplied by 100 which is equal to 200 centimeters. Similarly, the next one, 7 meters will be 7 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 700 centimeters. The next one, 3.49 meters. Same way it's multiplied by 100. But here you have to be careful of the decimal point. The decimal point here will move two places towards the right. Therefore, your answer will be 349 centimeters. And the last one, 0 0.86 meters. I want you to try this, students. Yes, you multiply it with 100. The decimal point again here will move two places towards the right. So your answer is 86 centimeters. Let's move on to the next question. Convert centimeters to meters. Since one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter, here we need to divide the given unit by hundred. Since one centimeter is one hundredth of a meter, here we need to divide the given number by hundred. So the first one 85 centimeters will be divided by 100 and the answer is 0 0.85 meters. The next one 46 centimeters divided by 100 will give us 0 0.46 meters. The next 114 centimeters divided by 100 will give 1.14 meters and the last one I want you to try this students yes 326 divided by 100 the answer will be 3.26 meters students let us now use this knowledge to solve a few examples related to centimeters and meters the first one the school at Malapuram had its sports day. The first five children in the long jump are Tina with 3.50 meters, Meena with 4.05 meters, Rehana with 4.50 meters, Anu with 3.05 meters and Amina with 3.05 3, 5 meters. Who was the winner in the long jump? Students, if you look carefully at the scoreboard, you see 
that meena jumped 4.05 meters which is 4 meters and 5 centimeters while rehana jumped 4.50 meters which is 4 meters 50 centimeters so who will be the winner of the game yes it is rehana the winner of the long jump is rehana let's move on to the next question students when you breathe in and breathe out the size of your chest increases and decreases in the picture shown you see that after breathing out the chest size of the men is 1.52 meters and when he takes a deep breath in his chest size increases to 1.82 meters what is the difference in his chest size how will you find it yes you are right in order to find the difference we need to subtract the two first you will write the number 1.82 meters and you subtract it by 1.52 meters make sure that you write the digits exactly below the other after subtracting the two you get the answer as 0 0.30 meters so the difference in chest size will be 0 0.30 meters the next question Dinesh the little boy needs to grow 45 centimeters more to reach 2 meter height so what is his present height in meters yes children you are right in order to find his present height we need to subtract 45 centimeters from 2 meters how will we do that 2 meters can be written as 2.00 meters and 45 centimeters can be written as 0 0.0 four five meters and then you subtract the two the answer will be 1.55 meters therefore the present height of Dinesh is 1 meter 55 centimeters the next question students you see here that the temperature of different cities were noted at 3 p.m on 16 January 2008 as you can see in the map the temperature of Srinagar is 8.1 degree Celsius the temperature in Jaipur is 23.2 degree Celsius the temperature in Mumbai is 35.1 degree Celsius the temperature in Tiruvannapuram is 33.5 degree Celsius the temperature in Chennai is 29.9 degree Celsius the temperature in Bhopal is 25.9 degree Celsius the temperature in Kolkata is 26.6 degree Celsius and the temperature in Guwahati is 24.8 degree Celsius now let's quickly answer the questions given the first question which place has the highest temperature at 3 pm yes that's right it's mumbai with 35.1 degree celsius which place was the coolest at that time correct it is srinagar with 8.1 degree celsius how much higher is the temperature in mumbai from that of srinagar to find the difference we will have to subtract the temperature of the two cities that is 35.1 subtracted by 8.1 and the answer is 27 degree Celsius students let us now go a little further and use decimals in currency how many paise make one rupee here on the screen I have a 50 paise coin when we add 250 paise we get 1 rupee that means 
50 paise plus 50 paise is equal to 100 paise. That means 50 paise plus 50 paise which is equal to 100 paise make 1 rupee. So what part of a rupee would be 50 paise? Yes, it's 50 upon 100 which is equal to half of a rupee which is equal to rupees 0 0.50. Similarly, 10 paise would be 10 upon 100 which is equal to 1 upon 10 which is equal to rupees 0 0.10. Note how the paise is written in rupee. Students, let's go on to the next question. I want you to observe the items displayed and answer the questions. The first one, how many paise does a matchbox cost? Yes, you're correct. It is 50 paise. The second question, how many matchboxes can you get for rupees 2.50? Now students, if one matchbox will cost 50 paise, two matchboxes will cost 1 rupee, 4 will cost 2 rupees. Therefore, you can buy 5 matchboxes for rupees 2.50. The next question, an egg costs 2.5 rupees. How much will 1.5 dozen cost? 2.5 rupees means rupees 2.50 and 1 dozen is equal to 12 eggs. Then one and a half dozen means 12 plus 6 which is equal to 18 eggs. Let us solve this in the simplest way. Let us first split rupees 2.50 into rupees 2 and rupees 0 0.50. Calculating at rupees 2 per egg, 18 eggs will cost rupees 36 and calculating at 50 paise per egg 18 eggs will cost rupees 9 since 250 paise make a rupee so the total cost will be yes it will be 45 rupees and the last question kanan's mother gave him rupees 60 to buy the eggs and asked him to buy pens with the leftover money since he paid rupees 45 to buy the eggs, he would have rupees 15 left back. Each pen costs him rupees 6.50. Adding cost of two pens will be rupees 13. He will have rupees 2 left. Wasn't that easy children? So next time mummy sends you shopping, you should have no trouble in getting the change back. I hope you all have enjoyed the lesson on tens and hundreds. Before we leave, I have a small exercise for you. On your textbook, page 140, you have to match the three columns. And on page 145, question number 5, you need to answer the questions by observing the table. Thank you and have a nice day.